What's up guys? Welcome back to Crypto Weekly Review. Today, we're going to talk about some Ethereum fees, Ethereum burns. We got the IMF, we got the ECB, we got billionaires all fighting crypto. What else is new? You guys are so 2017. Let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into the charts and the latest hottest crypto news. You be all sus. Yeah. I just doubled up on crypto. I just doubled down on the new vest. Now my chair looking like two checks. Type of money made me want a two step. Who next? This week I be on the moon next. Stop going up like two X. That's a fast flip like suplex. Two really stepping like a duplex. You bet. Never lose change, but I do flex. All right, let's start right on the monthly chart since the monthly is about to close and it looks like we have the candle body above the last pivot. We're in some critical monthly resistance here, but it looks amazing. In fact, Bitcoin looks amazing on every time frame. You can see that we have popped through this last pivot R3 and we have we are now testing this pivot, which is a bull flag. It's probably going to bounce up here. And uh, I think we're going to new all-time highs. I know it's a little bit early to say it. We could fake out. We could test the 21-week moving average over here at 20 or 42,600. And the weekly just looks amazing to me. And the oscillators, they're they're cooling down. It, it's it's the stochastic RSI is a little hot, but the uh, the RSI EMA here is looking good, and it looks like it's holding support on the average. So moving on down to the daily, and as you can see, we're also in a uptrend here. We are in a weekly uptrend. We are in a monthly uptrend. And if we go over here to the daily chart, looks like it's a little bit of a mess here. The stochastic RSI is cooling way down on the daily. It looks prime for a pump. We are holding the 21 in beautifully. Look at, just pay attention to the 21 EMA on the daily chart. One, two, three, three, four touches. Three is a trend. We're touching here. We're consolidating up at this uh, pivot, and uh, I think we're gonna bounce. Uh, let's see where the 200 day is. The 200 day is at about 40,000. That's the bottom here. We got a golden cross. Uh, we're going up. In fact, the problem with this charts and all the Bitcoin charts is they look too good. When I say that it's looking too good, all I'm saying is usually when the charts are this nice, there's some nasty wick that liquidates everybody and then we go up but that was the scam era of bitmex so maybe that won't happen but this looks too good look at ethereum on the daily chart oh my goodness see it is actually poked through r3 if you can see over here uh bitcoin is below it the pivot this is above the pivot holding the 21 that means we are in a daily uptrend and it's holding the pivot it's actually consolidating here it tested the 21 below the pivot it held support this thing looks like it's prime to explode and here could be a reason why we burned 142,700 ETH since the london hard fork and that is roughly 400 million dollars just poof into thin air which sounds better for the plebs but we know that big, uh ethereum inflates four percent a year so but still it's very very bullish it's very very nice in fact, to, to put it into perspective, the $432 million e dollars in ETH burned could buy 2,000 medium-sized homes. You know what's not nice? Ethereum fees. Ethereum fees jumped 154% since last week. $400 Uniswap fees, 1K to interact with OpenSea. It's just outrageous. And what's to blame is the NFTs. Yeah, probably there's a lot of weird stuff going on with NFTs. I think people are maybe cleaning all of their money before they cash it out i don't know what's going on with this but there's no way i'm buying a jpeg there's no way we definitely need pulse and we need it very very quickly speaking of pulse let's take a look at a hex just really really quick and uh it is just going to the absolute moon it's parabolic it's holding its parabola there's really i i know a lot of people do like ta on this how do you do ta on this it's just going straight up and up and up and up i guess we can take a look at this daily pivot uh the daily pivot the resistance would be at 25 cents and everybody who's anybody who's following this knows we are trying to get an all-time high each and every pump is an all-time high um i don't want to take it for granted but um we do need pulse because of this ethereum fees let's take a look at pulse pulse chain is having trouble pulse chain has a bug Here's from Richard Hart himself. Development update. We have a private chat room dedicated to test net syncing bug. 
It gives people access to our archive node to sync from so they can reproduce the issue. Fails at block 12 million 900 and blah 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 other devs from the community are hopping in to help this is a bad look look first off i love hex i love richard hart i i sacrifice a lot of money into the paul's chain i have full confidence that this is going to happen but this is a bad look tweeting this is just a bad look hopefully something good comes out of this but um i'm expecting all-time highs in everything i'm extremely extremely bullish right now let's get right into the news the news right now is bearish, but that's what happens in bull moves. And look at our friends at the IMF who bankrupt countries for political reasons are warning us against Bitcoin. Privately issued crypto assets like Bitcoin come with substantial risks. Making them equivalent to a national currency is an inadvisable shortcut. So that was the tweet by the IMF. They're basically attacking El Salvador saying that you cannot use uh bitcoin as a national legal tender because one of the concerns that they mentioned was monetary policy would lose bite since central banks cannot set interest rates on a foreign currency uh yeah that's why we're in this mess that we're in in the world because these guys are setting the monetary policy and it's only benefiting the rich we need a free market we need we need financial freedom that should be a right that should be an amendment in the constitution that money is freedom of speech many people on social media mocked the imf for calling bitcoin private privately issued saying that they have a history of bankrupting countries and the imf won't even be around in 10 years that's a very very bold statement but i cannot help but agree next we have our good friend the vice president luis de gundos of the european central bank also known as the ecb he has stated he wants cryptocurrencies to be subject to the same rules as other assets are the statements were offered in a presentation given as a part of the summer course offered by the european parliament he's declared his opinion about cryptocurrency regulation hey uh so does everybody in the crypto space we want it to be treated fairly we don't want to be treated as a property a currency we don't want to be regulated by the cftc scc and everybody else that wants to restrict our cryptocurrency rights i would not prohibit them he says gee thanks bud but issuers must be required to follow the same conditions as those of the other financial assets to avoid everything that has to do with money laundering and terrorist financing okay <laughs> wait isn't it the nato and western allies that left all of wait a minute isn't it the western powers and the nato allies that left all the tanks helicopters jet planes and money for the taliban who's fine and who's kidding who here who's kidding who here see what i really think is happening here is they want a cbdc the central bank digital currency they want to issue a digital euro soon that currency is really needed according to him they uh, want to be able to directly inject money into the economy, but it's a very, very slippery slope because once you have an account with the central bank, then they can enforce a social credit score and lock your funds if you maybe don't participate in some of the activities that they want you to participate in. It's a very dangerous and slippery slope. That's why I'm glad we have cryptocurrencies because if paper money is gone, we still have some sort of freedom and privacy. All right, let's touch lightly on this guy. The billionaire John Paulson warns cryptocurrencies will be worthless. Bitcoin is too volatile to short. So this is the guy who shorted the housing market, which would probably in hindsight be like the easiest short ever. Uh, before the uh, GFC, the great financial crisis. He has a billion uh, dollar hedge fund. He says that cryptocurrency are a bubble that will prove to be worthless while he sees unlimited downside to crypto. He will not short Bitcoin, however, even though he says, even though I could be right over the long term, in the short term, I'd be wiped out, he explains. Uh, yeah, and it sounds like you missed it. And we got to keep things into perspective just because you had a great call like uh, over a decade ago doesn't mean that you're a genius that knows everything. You know what I mean? He then continues to say that you should buy gold. Basically, that's like the equivalent of me saying, 
hey don't go buy bitcoin it's going to zero go buy ada go buy ada get cardano that's that that's what's going to moon because why because those are the bags that i have and pump my bags please this is uh this guy is just your typical boomer typical boomer he sounds like he's stuck in 2017 and he's going to get uh wrecked by not having any cryptocurrency because cryptocurrency as you know is the future and it's our actually one of our last freedoms we have all right as you know with every episode we end with the wrecked plea why because i don't want you to get wrecked and remember this is a dangerous volatile space and when we bring up a wrecked plea we're not trying to hurt anyone's feelings we're just doing it scientifically the SEC wins a judgment against actor Steven Seagal after he ignores court order to settle a crypto frauds case. So this is a slippery slope for YouTubers because if you're taking money to show projects, you are breaking the law. Do you hear that? That martini guy? And shilling scams to his followers. That's how he made all his money and it's not trading. I guarantee you that. And this is exactly what that martini guy is doing. The famous actor had agreed to pay more than three hundred thousand dollars to settle the crypto fraud case he was involved in the sec alleged that seagal failed to disclose that he was promised two hundred fifty thousand dollars in cash and seven hundred fifty thousand dollars in tokens for promoting an initial coin offering ico um it was called bitcoin 2 gen the sec settled the case but guess what he never paid up and where is he he's hiding in russia where he was granted citizenship and uh they keep reaching out to him and he is not responding so they filed a judgment against him so they're going to get the money one way or another r.i.p steven seagal uh you are a wrecked plebe you made it this far you might as well throw me a like thank you for watching please subscribe and i'll see you on the next bitcoin news